Hello, welcome to Megger's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will discuss how to perform a burden test using the MRCT. Let's get started. In order to test the burden using the uh, MRCT, well, the first thing we usually do is we go to the nameplate and we enter there the nameplate information of the CT. In this case, let's say it's a C800 CT uh, with an actual burden of I don't know, 75 EA at a power factor of 0 0.5. Um, here we don't really need to fill all the ratios, but as uh, part of a proper testing procedure, you would do that. So let's do it for this CT as well. And um, then we can proceed to the actual test to select the, the burden test to we click here. Now remember that the burden test should be run at the nominal f current of the um, CT that we are testing. In this case, uh, we selected a, we're going to select the 5 amp CT. Now when we click here, uh, the burden test, we are presented with the connection diagram. Now remember, when we are testing the burden, we are not testing the CT itself. What we are doing is a test to the load connected to the secondary circuit of the CT for which we are uh, going to inject a nominal current to that, uh, that load and uh, we are going to measure the voltage drop across that load while we are injecting that current and the multiplication of both is going to be the uh, secondary burden in a VA. Remember to take the CT out of the equation. It's very important that when you're doing a burden test, the CT is not part of the circuit on the under test. So you disconnect the CT and you connect only to the CT's load. When you are doing a burden test, you will be injecting a single phase current to the or through the circuit of the relays connected to the secondary uh, of that of that CT. What the, the problem with that is that you could cause those relays to trip. So you have to be very careful when you're doing a burden test to make sure that uh, you are not going to cause any unwanted tripping in the, in the system. Take every precaution necessary for, for that. After we have checked that our connections are proper, uh, we click here. And right now we are injecting 5 amps. We are actually performing a real life burden test on an electromechanical uh, relay that I have uh, connected here as an example. I'm simply injecting 5 amps to the, sec to the uh, circuit of that single electromechanical uh, relay. It is an overcurrent uh, relay. Now see how the current is ramping up, it's gonna reach 5 amps, it's gonna stay there and then it's gonna measure the voltage. We are injecting an AC current in order to measure the uh, burden in VEA, also the phase angle and the power factor. Once we have seen the results here in this, uh, in this table, we can go ahead and, and look at the uh, CT test report and look at the burden um, information on that uh, CT report. Remember that on the CT report you can type in all the relevant information on that uh, CT as we have done with other uh, CTs. In this case we can classify the test as a pass. We really don't have a lot of criteria here. We would need to know what the actual uh, expected burden for uh, that CT is, uh, which is something that uh, we don't have uh, right now. Uh, we should always finish entering the um, relevant information before we um, deliver a report. This concludes how to perform a burden test using the MRCT. Visit the Mega YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic or for any support you may need for your electrical testing.